Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of PCDT Shop Talk. As you know, I'm Wesley, and in today's video, we're gonna be discussing some of the park assist features that are available on our vehicles. We're gonna be looking at the reversing camera, the surround view cameras, and some other related features. Now, the first feature we're gonna look at is the backup camera. Activating the backup camera is simple enough. Simply engage reverse gear, and the feed from the backup camera should appear in the center console. Now, the feed will only appear if the car is rolling backwards or in reverse gear up to a speed of 15 kilometers per hour. Beyond that, you will not get a feed from the camera. Now the next system we're looking at is the surround view camera system, which relies on four separate cameras located in the front and rear bumpers, as well as underneath either of the side view mirrors. To activate the system, it's the same as the backup camera. Simply engage reverse gear, and then we're going to select the top down or bird's eye view option. Here, all four cameras will provide us with a view of our surroundings. Now, this can also be activated manually, even when the vehicle is not in reverse gear, by selecting the car tab here on the left, making sure we're under the control menu, and then choosing the park assist option. From here, we're able to pull up the surround view camera, the backup camera, and the other cameras. Now, the last feature we're gonna be covering is the passenger side view mirror adjustment option. If your vehicle comes equipped with the memory package, you'll have the option of adjusting your passenger mirror to tilt downwards slightly when you engage reverse so you can see the curb a little more clearly on the passenger side while you're reversing. Now, to activate the lowering mirror function, we need to navigate through the vehicle menu here in the instrument cluster. From the vehicle page, we'll scroll down and select settings, and then we'll scroll down and select light and visibility. From here, we'll scroll down to the bottom where we have our reverse options, and here we'll be able to activate the lowering mirrors function. Now with this activated, when we engage reverse gear, the mirror on the passenger side will automatically lower to our pre-selected position. Using the Park Assist features, including the backup and surround view cameras, is as easy as that. In our next video, we'll be going over cruise control and speed limiter settings, so stay tuned. And don't forget, if you have any questions or concerns, give us a call here at the Porsche Center, downtown Toronto.